We've seen people uh, routinely over 100 miles an hour. Yikes. Well, if you thought driving got more dangerous during the pandemic, you are not mistaken. Tonight, we are looking closer at the problem that many of us have noticed over the last year. Pandemic driving is a real thing. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is back, introducing us to the people set out to stop it before it becomes a tragedy that hits too close to home. Please slow down. Watch those speed limits. Days before the new year, the family of 19-year-old Jacob Provost and 16-year-old Olivia Sear had to say a tearful, sudden goodbye after the teens were killed in a crash on Route 44. What caused this tragedy is people not following the posted speed limits. These young lives full of potential were two of the 306 lost last year on Connecticut roads. The numbers don't veer too far from previous years, but Look at this, the total number of crashes were down by more than 30,000 last year when for a couple of months our roads were mainly empty during the height of the pandemic. And the number of fatalities that we were seeing didn't drop in the same way the traffic volume dropped. And that's kind of counter to what you would expect. With fewer people on the road, why are more people dying? Eric Jackson is the director of Connecticut's Transportation Safety Research Center, and he says the reason crashes were more severe and the reason deaths didn't drop was because speeding increased. Eyewitness News got our hands on the data from the state DOT. A 80 miles per hour to 85 miles per hour, there was a, a sometimes double, triple, or sometimes even quadrupled in the number of vehicles that were traveling at that speed. Drivers that in and out, in and out, and that is very bad. And if you spent enough hours on the road last year, like taxi driver William Saunders, you probably have a similar story. Yeah, sometimes you do see some crazy driver on the road. You wonder why they are on the road. Um, but we really don't have direct evidence to show why people are traveling faster. Oh, geez, 85. 85 in that left lane there. This is Trooper Kurt Booker from the Connecticut State Police's aggressive driving team. He says he knows the source of the speeding epidemic. And they cite the pandemic? Many of them do. Many of them do. That's a true fact. Trooper Booker comes face to face with speeders every day so he can share their perspective. People are a little uh, angry. You know, they're upset about certain things. You know, the, 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 the status of the country, whatever the case may be. And to that point, they're going to exercise that uh, through their driving. We saw it up close on that snowy day in mid-April when we went out with Trooper Booker. With snow and rain coming down on 384 in Manchester, people should have been the most cautious. This guy right here is at 84. Within a minute of us setting up our cameras, Trooper Booker was on. Some didn't realize they were doing 80 plus in a 65. 84. 84. Yes, sir. Others apologized immediately. I stopped and got to 85. Uh, did you? I'm sorry, sir. Now, here's the most dangerous part of what we uncovered. The traffic volume, that's pretty much returned to normal, but the pandemic speeding levels, that has not corrected itself. And we really haven't seen a drop in those numbers since the lockdown took place. And, and we're creatures of habit, so what we do once, we'll do again. Now that we've been allowed to drive, well, they, they, at least the perception is that we're allowed to drive that way. That's not the truth or the reality, but they believe that it is. With summer fast approaching, expect the traffic to only get worse. With the same amount of aggression on the roads, police and experts hope that drivers will self-correct, but fear they may not. Until the discourse of the nation changes, you know, it, it, it may be here. I, you know, I'm no expert on that, but it, it, it very well could be here for a while. And that's why state police aggressive driving teams are so important. They're going to be going out and cracking down on things like speeding, texting and other distractions to make these roads safer as more of us get on them. Matthew Campbell, Channel Therapist News.